So, Stav, it's been a breezy, exciting day here in Duanane on day two of Grand Prix Gira. Um, who have you got with you tonight and what's been going on out there? Well, it's so uh, before I introduce my friends, it's certainly been breezy. It surprised us all that the French actually sent us out because the, uh, normally when they get a forecast of anything around 30 odd knots, they tend to um, scrub it. In fact, they've, they've got the BMS or BSM. It's a, a thing where they're not meant to send you out over 28 knots. Anyway, they did send us out and we managed to get one race in. We had several restarts because the wind shifted around a lot. Um, introduced from right to left, the ladies first, obviously got Gavin Wilkinson Cox here. He's had a brilliant race today. We'll say all about that in a minute. We've got Sid here, David Howlett. David and I go back to the 70s, I think, when we used to, I used to help build these fin dinghies. David was sailing them then. That was 74, was it, David? 74, I think. Since then, he's uh, been mainly well, coaching, isn't it? And you've just coached Ben um, Ainsley to the gold medal in Weymouth. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, that was that was in uh, when was it? July, August last year, nearly a year ago. Now, and what are you what are you doing here, Sid? Uh, I'm coaching Marcus Brenneker and his team and Mark Bickle and Thomas Aronker. And we've just started this year working together uh, because the Dragon Worlds are in Weymouth in September, and and uh, therefore I've got a lot of experience with sailing in Weymouth, so perhaps they might be able to pick something up. Marcus obviously went for the highest coach he could get, and uh, and Sid's that man. Now, so, Gavin, you've known Sid for a long time as well. Yes, yeah, back to the 70s as well, is he? Uh, 1970, Olympic... I think. In Chalky. Yeah. Olympic trials in Chalky, my hometown. Super. Yes. Now, uh, your team did well again today, they were third. Yes. So, does that put them in the lead now, for I think it just does, only yeah, just. But uh, anyway, it's early on in the regatta, there's only three races gone. But uh, they were pleased with that, I think. Because they're a fairly new team together. Yeah. Although well, Marcus has been saying the Dragons for a for a long time, but not me for not so much. Yeah, yeah. Well, basically, the race, we had a huge shift to the left on the start. Um, we were actually at the pin and tacked immediately, as did most boats. Gabby, I think you started on port, managed to get a gap. And um, it was very much a one sided beat, the first beat. The people that held on longest on the right then tacked across and came in at the top first. Um, the winner today was uh, Rush 27, Anatoly Lobinov. In second place, I think we have one of the bunker team. Uh, Evgeny Brasnovich. And third was Sid's team, that's Marcus Brenninger. Saying a brilliant last downwind leg. I'm telling you, this lady came from, I think, ninth position and surfed through nearly everybody to take fourth place. Brilliant piece of sailing. And your boy Sid were getting a little bit worried at one stage. <laughs> <laughs> you might have to do the editing now, then. Yeah, no, we're still going. Well, they really were worried, that because Gabby was coming from behind, so to speak, and they thought, no, no, she's coming from behind. <laughs> so he's got us. Yeah. But we're all going to that. But no, tell us, uh, Dave. Um, this you've done uh, Olympics at the very highest level. How do you think the dragging class now rate right to that? Well, I'm sure it's moving forward a lot because uh, some of the Russian and Ukrainian teams are just really taking it pretty seriously. And quite a lot of coach boats out there now, which means that people are seeing more of their mistakes and trying to sort them out. So it's, it's been coming on, of course. Tim Taverner was my uh, star crew in 1984, so I've known him for a long time. Um, and, well, that's nearly 30 years too, isn't it? Yeah. When he was a young boy. Uh, so yeah, he's built the boats, and over the years, while he's been building the boats, I've always kept in touch with him to see what's going on, and I'm sure the boats are getting better and better, uh, especially with uh, a few years ago when they increased the amount of buoyancy in the boats after a few had sunk, so that's, yeah. been a, that's been a big help for a day like today, when it, it was possible the boats capsized, um, I did see a few on their side a little bit, or even if they'd have had collisions, so I mean the boats seem to have come generally through the races today unscathed but yeah, yeah I mean, I'm sure it was up to 30 knots yeah so um, all in all I, I think what's the forecast for tomorrow like actually a bit oh, the forecast is a bit less right okay so we, we've probably got three more races to go I don't think they'll catch this one up that we missed today um, they're very unlikely to have two on the last day so um, Tommy Muller today uh, was just behind you, wasn't he? Yep. So he, six, I think, something like think that. Six. So he'll be lying second overall, and third overall. Mm, not quite so sure. I'd have to check the results, but uh, you can see it on the 
on the website later. Um, so very well said again, Gavia. Thank you. And uh, thanks for talking to us, Sid. Um, what's this about an MBE recently? Yes. Apparently. Congratulations. <laughs> Went to Windsor Castle to see the Queen. Oh, very excellent. Nice. Good. Very well, well done. Very well deserved. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> thanks very much for talking to us. And uh, we'll talk to you again uh, tomorrow, folks. Thank you.